everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Mr. Moses and I will be your host today. We're going to go over our second strategy for multiple choice testing, which is working backwards. Clap your hands, everybody. And everybody just clap your hands. Yo, yo. This is a really good strategy that's really awesome because it works every time. Most problems will give you a task of finding the value of the variable, either through an equation, an inequality, or an expression. You can do the traditional method of inverse operation inverse operation or you can try what we're calling working backwards. Let's see what this will look like. X plus 4 equals 7. Let's pretend we do not have the skills to work out this problem through inverse operations. So we're going to work backwards by plugging in our choices. Let's try choice A. Choice A is 1. Let's try it in. When I put in choice A, does it give me a true statement where both sides are equal like they should be? The answer is no. Let's try choice B. 0 plus 4 is 4. We're supposed to be equal to 7. So choice B is incorrect. Try choice C. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we could see through working backwards that 3 gives us a true statement and therefore is the correct answer. Now it's your turn to try one. In order to have enough time to work out this problem on your own, be sure to pause the video because we're going to reveal the answer once the timer runs out. Let's try choice A. 5 times negative 2. Is that equal to 10? No. 5 times 1. Is that equal to 10? No. 5 times 0 equal to 10? No. 5 times 2, is that equal to 10? Yes. Did you get the right answer? If not, try going back and working backwards through the choices again until you do get the right answer. Your grade will thank you. Did you get the right answer? Start over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, here, let's try this again. Ready? <laughs> 